guys, it's Zach and you're on FNL and I've got another wonderful texture pack review, resource pack, whatever, for you guys here today. And it's called Skyrim Craft. Now, whoa boys, just look at that, look at that sun. Look how that warps in the field of view, that's kinda weird. Anyway. <laughs> Just a few things. There are some textures that aren't complete, like the moss, cobblestone, and the pumpkins. The bed kind of has a glitch problem. Maybe it's just not finished. I'm not sure. Enchantment table, sign, but those are just really small things. Animations are good. And this is a 128 by 128 pack. I'm not lagging really at all. Before I started recording, I was getting about 90 to 120 frames. Of course, I'm using tiny render distance, but still. So yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, some of the ores, I wasn't too big on those, but still, still pretty good. Let's get a trip down over that single player world show you guys what it looks like okay guys here's the house there's the spring and there's the farms down there I'm playing on tiny just so I don't get lag spikes is all but let's turn up the smooth lighting Maximum. See what it looks like. If I had some better grass and such, you know, like stuff like that, it might look a little bit better, but I don't use that. But yeah, you can kind of just look around and judge based off what you see here. Or you can get the pack yourself, which I would rather you get the pack. Oh, look at that pig. Look at him. Those little, tiny little old eyes. Sheepskin's not done. There's the villagers. They kind of look like Troy. Here's the butcher. <laughs> the wood, I'm not a big fan of the wood. It's kind of boring. I don't know why it's so boring looking, but I just think it is. Wheat is kind of neat, though. And I also think they use this texture pack on a server of some sort. I'm not sure what that server is. Uh, yep, there's a tour of the village, and now we can make our way down to that great old rating system. Let's get down right to that. Okay guys, I've reconfigured my rating system. Since I've changed some of the categories, I have discluded performance, and I have added sounds and originality, and quality has been changed to visuals. So now we have visual sounds, originality, my opinion, and the overall rating. For visuals, I gave Skyrim Craft a 7 out of 10 because there were some textures that weren't finished. But I understand it's a work in progress, so don't really punish it too much for that. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Originality, I'll get back to sounds later, but originality, I'll give it a 7 out of 10 because I've seen that fire texture and the water texture and other texture packs. I don't know if that's a reoccurring thing that all HD packs use not sure but also it's based off Skyrim so it can't you know it can't be that original so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 to be fair my opinion over it is an 8 out of 10 though because I really like the Elder Scrolls and such and Skyrim is just it's a good game so the fact that they'd give like a tribute texture pack for Minecraft to it that's pretty neat overall rating 
After you average it out, is 7 out of 10. And for sounds, I had not available because I'm not sure if I got the correct texture pack or the right version or something because I heard it was supposed to come with sound, such as the music disc being changed with music from the actual game. Not sure if you guys know anything about that, maybe just drop a comment off, I don't know. But sounds weren't available, even though I was expecting them to be. And there you go, 7 out of 10 for Skyrim Craft. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. I hope you guys thought it was fair, and if you don't think it was fair, tell me in the comments section below why you think it wasn't, and then tell me what you would have rated it. Okay, this will just wrap it up for this texture pack review on FNL, and I'll see you guys in the next one.